Good morning, Wynn, and thanks for having me on. Yeah, the uh, big things, you know, several things that we look at and we try to really focus on are uh, figure out what you want before you go. Do some research. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's with other family members, you can sit down, whether family members have allergies, you know, but do some research for a type of dog that you're looking for, you know, size, color, hair coat. Also, the big thing is energy level. You want that to match the energy level of the house. So you don't want to get a hyper dog with as an older couple or, you know, vice versa, mm -hmm. something that doesn't want to play very much versus when you're very active and you go out and play or have children. And also the other thing, too, is make sure that you are looking for an animal that is good with kids if you have children. You can do a quick walkthrough when you get to the shelter. Um, walk through, kind of pick out a few pets that you think. And the other part is, and then you do come back and do a slower walkthrough. And a couple of those pets that you look at and think you like or you're interested in, um, ask the employees at the shelter about those pets, you know, um, whether those pets were um, dropped off by somebody or kind of, you know, maybe if they were, maybe you can get a better idea of, uh, okay, what are some of their habits and things that they do, um, good and bad habits, you know, their eating habits. Um, what is their personality? Do they give you eye contact? Do they have a happy face? Are they happy to see you? Are they wagging their tail? Do they get along with children? That's a big thing, obviously. Right. Um, you know, do they prefer a man or a woman? It, it, that makes a big difference. Uh, and then uh, what type of home did they come from? You know, if you have a dog that came from a ranch or a farm area and they're used to running everywhere and you try to put them in a small home, it's not going to work out very well. And you get very frustrating, you know, for both the dog and the owner, right. the new owner. So um, those are some of the things you look for. Um, and the other thing kind of you kind of want to leave at the door before you come in those places is – Kind of leave your emotions at the door because when you go to you know those places, you know it is sad to see those dogs and those cats and um, small animals there. You know, but you can't take home every one of them. And you, but you want one that fits you right because you don't want to have to, you know, hopefully never return it. You want it to have a good home, right? You know, so in, in, um, avoid that, and by doing the research. Um, so the other things that you look at is, uh, you know, don't choose an animal because you feel sorry for it. I think in the long run that'll that'll you know come back to bite you right <laughs> so and also um, be careful of shy dogs doesn't mean that shy, all shy dogs should be um, you know avoided but if that animal you know uh, is too shy to you it might be too shy at, at home um, but um, one of the things you can do too is, is when you talk to the employees there ask to take that animal into maybe a uh, an area where there's no other animals and to see your interaction, see if you can maybe walk that animal, you know, if it's a dog, see if you can take it for a little walk around the shelter area, kind of get it away from the other, mm -hmm. you know, and see how it interacts with you. One-on-one. -on -one. Definitely one-on-one, -on -one because sometimes that makes a big difference versus them uh, fighting for your attention over other, other animals, and they do act differently. Um, so, um, you know, just have some patience, you know, some you know, open-mindedness when you go in there. And just several other little things as far as health issues to look at for these animals. Make sure they have clear eyes. Your nose is clear, not a runny nose or runny eyes. Right. Um, you don't hear any coughing or sneezing coming from these, you know, dogs. Um, that they, uh, they have a nice, nice soft hair coat. Um, and that, uh, you know, they're in good, good body condition. Um, ask whether they're spayed or neutered. Uh, most, uh, shelters now require that you have them spayed or neutered. Right. And uh, and then uh, their deworming and vaccination history at the shelter if they if that's been done. If it hasn't, most shelters have a uh, veterinary clinic that you can take them to and have that stuff done, or they have something maybe a reduced price or something they work out with that to try to help help that shelter out. What if, what about like a like a thin dog? Like sometimes these dogs haven't haven't been fed as much as you're going to feed them or as well as you're going to feed them. So sometimes they look they look a little. Is that is that something you should steer away from just because you don't know why they're thin like that, or is that something that you just is just kind of a common occurrence? No, I think sometimes that can be a simple fix. Um, it can be something to where you can, um, if if you do decide if that dog works for you, you think it's going to be something you want to do, is um, have a you know uh, take your dog in, have it examined by the veterinarian, mm -hmm. and one of the things they are going to do is is look for parasites, you know. Um, Look for something that might be a cause of that. That's usually your one of your number one things. Um, can be feeding. Uh, maybe the food they're eating is not as high has has high of an energy level as it needs to have. Right. You know, or the protein. But most of the time, 
um, especially as shelter dogs, one thing that is keeping them dewormed. Thank you very much, Dr. Rad. I appreciate you uh, chatting with us. And I know a lot of people are uh, maybe thinking about uh, pets for their family and things. And these are some really cool tips. And uh, we'll definitely try to uh, keep these tips on hand for anybody in case they have more questions. And we will try to get this up on the website so people can actually uh, listen to this interview if they miss something and wanted to revisit it. Check it out at KKJ.com. Treat them right with Dr. Matt Rad. Heard each Wednesday morning at around 820 on Texoma Country, KKJ. Thanks again, Doc. Thank you very much.